program deals with various carpentry tools. Marking and measuring tools. These are some of the marking and measuring tools used by our carpenter on the job. Measuring tape A measuring tape is the most common tool used by a carpenter. It is used for measuring and marking dimensions even before the carpenter starts on the job. Not only this, a measuring tape helps the carpenter for accurate measurement during the manufacturing process. Measuring scale In case the length of the job is small, a four-hole wooden foot rule is used for the purpose of marking as well as measuring the finished product. Tri-square A tri-square is used for drawing mutually perpendicular lines at right angles to the plane surface. It is also used for checking the smoothness and for testing the mutually perpendicular surfaces. Marking gauge The marking gauge has pointed tip which helps in marking on the job. Marking gauge is used to scribe parallel and straight lines at any desired distance from a finished face or edge. Wing compass composes of two finely pointed steel legs held by a set screw and a quadrant. These steel legs can be set to any desired position. A wing compass is utilized for marking circles and for scribing straight and parallel lines or drawing parallel lines on the curved job. Holding and supporting tools Holding and supporting tools are many. Some of the commonly used tools are vices and clamps. These are used either for holding or for supporting or for holding as well as supporting the jaw. Vice Vice is fitted on the workbench with help of a screw. It is then thoroughly fixed on the bench 
This is done in order to prevent any mishap. After this, the job is securely tightened in the vise. The carpenter is now at ease to perform the operations such as cutting and finishing. C clamp. C clamp is used for holding and supporting small and uneven jobs for carrying out different operations like cutting and chiseling. Cutting tools Cutting tools can be classified into three categories saws, chisels and edge. Handling of saw Saw should be handled in a proper way while performing cutting operation. The teeth of the saw are meant for cutting the wood. The index finger should be placed along the handle while cutting. Slow reciprocating motion is given to the saw from tip to end while performing the cutting operation. The thumb should be placed on the job so as to support the saw for cutting in the beginning. Various kinds of saws are used for performing different cutting operations. Hand saw It is most commonly used tool for the cutting purpose. Tenon saw Tenon saw is usually used for cutting small jobs. It helps in making tenon for mortise and tenon joints. Dovetail saw Dovetail saw resembles tenon saw, but its size is much smaller than the tenon saw. Dovetail saw is used for making dovetail joints. is very small in size. It is generally used for cutting the wood from inside. Bow saw Bow saw is used for cutting the wood in a circular shape for making different designs on the given job. Chisels Chisels are directly driven into the wood for producing desired shapes and cavities. Handling of chisel Chisel should be held firmly in a straight position with its cutting edge placed on the marked line. Iron 
After that, it is struck from the top which results in cutting the jaw. The finished edge of the chisel is used for finishing the corners. The carpenter should work at a sufficient distance from the chisel so as to avoid unforeseen mishap. Firmer chisel Firmer chisel is used for taking wider cuts on the job. for finishing flat surfaces inside the grooves. This chisel is also used for finishing the curved surfaces. Top tail chisel Top tail chisel is used for finishing sharp corners. It is used specially for making dovetail joints. Mortise Chisel Mortise chisel is used for taking heavy and deep cuts resulting in stock removal. This chisel is used for making mortise and tenon joints. Edge Edge is yet another important tool which is commonly used by a carpenter for cutting purpose. Planing tools These are the various planing tools used for planing the surface of jaw. Iron trying plane For planing the surface of large wooden pieces, iron trying plane is used which is quite big in size. This plane is mainly utilized for planing the surface of large wooden planks, beams or for huge joinery work. Iron Jack Plane Saw marks left after sawing operation are removed with the help of an iron jack plane. Iron jack plane is smaller in size as compared to trying plane. Planing the wooden job with jack plane results in leaving the surface smooth enough for subsequent finishing. Iron smoothing plane is smaller than iron jack plane. For more finishing, smoothing plane is used on wooden surface by the carpenter but after the application of jack plane. Smoothing plane leaves
leaves smooth finished true and plain surface block plane block plane helps the carpenter for carrying out small work on the job which cannot be done with the other planes This plane is always used across the grains for planing the wooden surface. Grooving plane. The name of this planing tool is self-explanatory. Grooving plane is used to form grooves on edges of boards which are required for doors etc. Rebate plane Rebate plane has got a single iron. For forming rebates, this plane is used. It helps in making doors, windows and photo frame etc. Position for planing. In all these planing tools, the proper position for planing is of utmost importance. The carpenter should hold the handle of planing tool with his right hand while his left hand should hold the knob. Standing behind the plane, the feet of the carpenter must be spread apart with the right foot pointing towards the bench. This will give good balance throughout the stroke. Boring tools. These are the boring tools commonly used by the carpenter for making holes in the wooden jobs. Ratchet brace. Ratchet brace is an appliance used for holding different types and sizes of bits for making hole in the wood. Bits are of various types. Some of the common types of bits are Auger bit, which is used for making deep holes. Spoon bit. It is used for making holes for fixing pin and double in the wood. And countersink bit is utilized for making hole for fixing of screw head. For making hole, a proper size and type of bit is fitted and securely tightened in the jaws of chuck shell of the brace. After fixing the bit, the brace is placed over the spot on the job where the hole is to be made. Clockwise rotation is given to the brace by hand which results in making a hole. Hand drill Only small holes can be drilled with a hand drill. Hand drill serves the same purpose as a brace but on a smaller scale. Rotation of handle of hand drill results in rotating the drill bit into the job and thus forming a hole of required size. Gimlet.
lid. Gimlet is a boring tool which is used for making small holes. The handle of the gimlet is gripped tightly and rotated at the same time it is pressed downwards which helps in boring. Striking tools These are used to strike tools like chisel and nails from the top so as to drive them into the woods. Crosspane Hammer Crosspane Hammer is utilized for striking nails in the wooden job. This hammer is also used for striking the nails where it is not possible for an ordinary hammer to drive in the nail. Claw Hammer The striking face of the claw hammer is used for driving nails into the wood. This hammer has another feature also. The other end of this hammer known as claw is used for extracting wrongly driven nails out of the job. Mallet Mallet is another important striking tool. It is used for striking the cutting tools having a wooden handle. Miscellaneous tools Other tools which are extensively used for woodwork are screwdriver, pincer and rasp. Screwdriver Both the hands are used while working with screwdriver to avoid spoiling the slot. The flat end is fitted in the slot of screw head. Its clockwise motion drives the screw into the wood whereas with the anti-clockwise motion of the screwdriver, the screws can easily be unscrewed from the wood. Pincer While working on the job, there is every possibility of bending of nails. Such nails are pulled out with the help of a pincer. A piece of wood is kept near the nail to avoid bruising of the job. The nail is then pulled out with pincer. Rasp. For removing the saw marks and to smoothen the wooden surface, rasp is used. Rasp helps the carpenter in finishing the sharp edges, fillets and other interior surfaces on the job. With the correct use of different hand tools, a carpenter can do marking, measuring, cutting, chiseling, planing, boring, 
required use striking tools on the given job apart from using screw driver pincer and a rasp as and when required Thank you.